This assessment points out that there's significantly more steric hindrance in the ketone on the left than there is in the ketone on the right. And yet, grabbing a proton occurs with equal rate, equal speed, and equal efficiency for each. How can it be that a sterically hindered molecule would protonate at the same rate as a non-sterically hindered molecule? Well, the reason for this is it has to do with where the steric hindrance is. In the case of either of these carbonyls, the protonation is happening with a lone pair on oxygen. Because that T-butyl group is so far removed from where that happens, so this is acetone, let's draw in the tert-butyl group, because it's so far removed from where that protonation is happening, that steric hindrance is not enough to dramatically change the rate. We would still expect this one to be a little bit slower in terms of protonation, but not significantly. The steric hindrance is too far away from the reacting site.